over the week, we made a video on the topic we introduced from ordinary to superstar, and it's the turn of no one than by Osei Kufo, popularly known as Obuo. Before we roll into today's video, make sure you get yourself relaxed and in fact make sure you feel comfortable wherever you are and subscribe to the channel now. Early Life by Osei Kufo is a Ghanaian hip life musician known by the name Obuo, which means stone in the Akan language. Obuo was born at Dechimenso in the Ashanti region on 7th November 1981 to Christiana Ado and Reverend B.O. Kufo. At 6, he played most of the drums, especially the Atompan in the Drasso Ashanti Achim Chiefs Palace where his father used to preside over before accepting Christ. According to him, that inspired him a lot lyrically. Right from his basic education days at the State Experimental School Kumase through to the Soul Clinic School Accra, Garrison Junior Secondary School Bema Camp and Infantipim School, Obon never joked with his studies as the first hip life artist to reach his level at university, smart headed Obo combined his tertiary education with music very effectively. Several situations tempted him to choose between education and music. Music career After finishing secondary school, Obo solicited help from his London-based cousin Jay Amano who connected him with his personal soul records label. Obo is a remarkable and intelligent young artist who continues to thrill fans with his eclectic style of hip life. His thought-provoking lyrics and rich roots in culture is unparalleled. His ignorant thoughts and live performances as a rap artist set him apart from the lot. He's covered almost the whole nation with his music and like Obrafo. In 2005, he established a pub in Osu and a music production company. Obo has led several national campaigns because of his positive and educative lyrics. He won five awards at the 2005 Ghana Music Awards. His albums include Aten Tembem, Akademua, Dundum, Atumpan, President Obo and Phantom From. He made a dude album with A.B. Crinsell entitled The Best of Their Lives. Obo's 2004 album produced the hit single Konkon Tiba. He released a socially conscious album and project, One Ghana Peace Project, Obo for President, ahead of the 2008 general elections. He went on to embark on a nationwide peace campaign. Obo was selected among 12 others emerging leaders by the African Leadership Initiative to pursue training with the Aspen Global Leadership Network. His second album was fueled by the track Nana Obo, which was earlier on featured on Soul Records. Adakamu compilation album. The album was titled Dondo and featured such classic tunes as Meso Dae and Palm Wine. President Obuo Obuo didn't need a prophet of God to tell him about his destiny. 
In his quest to excel in the music career, it seems he was using his talent to drop hints about what the future held for him. Throughout his 12 years old music career, the award-winning hip life artist has been prophesying about his ride to the top of the music industry in Ghana. In his debut at Entembe, which chorus begins with Obuo Mehuye Hunhunhun, Obuo bragged about his extraordinary powers which enables him achieve heckling feasts. As if people didn't catch his drift and take enough note of this prophecy, he dropped Konkontiba from his third album Atompan in 2004. Konkontiba talked about how a teeny weeny tadpole eventually develops into a full grown frog and attains maturity. Then in 2007, he came all out with Manifesto President Obo, a song that backed his youth for the presidency, a social campaign that encouraged young people to participate actively in politics and aspire higher in life. Despite the strong linkage, Obo, the president-elect of the Musicians Union of Ghana, Musica, insists it's been sheer coincidence as he never had a laid-down plan to assume the post. At 30, Obo's real name by Osei Kufo has become the youngest person to head Musica since its inception in December 1975. Speaking with showbiz at the Kokomlimli office, Obo said he never saw it happening. In plain words, I never thought I would be the president of Musica, but I think every step I have taken throughout my music career has been a leadership step and others follow. In 2003, I was looking at a way music could contribute to national development. I realized the government spent over 5 billion old CDs on road accidents. So I recorded a song Aquaba in 2004 to sensitize the public on road safety. This earned me World Bank Music for Development Awards at the Ghana Music Awards GMA. It became a step that others followed. We should give the younger artists a reason why they should join Musica. I think many of the young ones have the impression Musica is for the elderly because its management has always been in the hands of the aged and elderly. But now with a young person at the head, I believe it will erase that motion. Awards and Achievements He is an ex-president of the Musicians Union of Ghana, an umbrella group that unites all musicians in Ghana, irrespective of gender. Obo is an alumnus of the University of Ghana, the U.S. International Visitor Leadership Program, Aspen Global Leadership Network, and African Leadership Initiative of West Africa. He was the youngest recipient of the State Grand Medal Honor by President J.A. Kufour in 2008. He is a social activist who doubles as a National Road Safety Ambassador, World Health Organization Tuberculosis Ambassador British Council, and Forest Commission of Ghana Climate Change Ambassador. He is President and Founder of Christiana Ado Memorial Foundation which promotes education, sanitation, personal hygiene, and youth empowerment in Asante Achim. He subsequently released Atentembe, which won three awards for Soul Records at the Ghana Music Awards in 2002, including Video of the Year. This and other songs by the label led to Soul Records being awarded with Record Label of the Year. The same video won Best at the R Music Awards OMA in 2002. He was already a celebrity by the time he entered the University of Ghana in 2002 to study sociology and music as a member of Commonwealth Hall, Vandal City. His second album entitled Dondo was led by the track Nana Obo, which had earlier featured on Soul Records 
Adakamu compilation album. Dondo also features such classic tunes as Mesodaye and Palm Wine. Nana Obo won the best video at both Ghana Music Awards and Ghana Music Awards UK in 2003. He is the National Tuberculosis Ambassador of Ghana, Road Safety Ambassador, Executive Icon of Youth Icons Africa, and a Climate Change Champion for the British Council. He serves on several executive and advisory boards, including the Executive Committee of the International Federation of Musicians, University of Ghana School of Performing Arts and Advisory Board, National Commission on Culture, National Folklore Board, and the Ghana Music Rights Organization Board. In 2017, Obo and his siblings established Christiana Ado Memorial Foundation to help the people in the Asante Achim South constituency of the Ashanti region. He became more involved in activities of the constituency as chiefs and several youth groups called on him to consider representing them as their member of parliament. Conclusion Obo's music run wasn't that long, but he has done more than enough for the industry. As of now, he is among the greatest in Ghana musicians who needs to be celebrated with no doubt. Others might say his presidency was a flop and he never did anything for the industry during his run. But nobody can stand and condemn the privilege he has opened for any young artist to stand and be elected as the musical president. I think this alone is great and we need to celebrate him. Cherish viewers and subscribers, this brings us to the end of today's chapter of our updates. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't or if you are new here and also turn on the bell icon to be notified anytime at all we bring you an update or we make a new post. Like our videos and drop your comments in the comment section down below. And not to forget, kindly like our Facebook page if you are watching from there. See you on our next update.